hello guys welcome to tech advice channel so friends uh, today in this video i'm going to show you that how can we export your data from bigquery to cloud storage bucket so uh, it's a easy process basically so you have to write the pipeline so basically uh, if you are uh, watching this video first time please subscribe my channel and please press the bell icon so now let's start uh, the process so let me close this one and okay so here is my uh, ui uh, console so you have to open your uh, cloud console and then you have to select your project basically i have already selected uh, one of my project but i don't want to show here uh, so uh, after that uh, you have to create a bucket in your cloud storage so first of all you have to go to navigation menu then from there you can have option uh, the cloud storage bucket mm, so you have to click on cloud storage here yeah, here it is uh, so i left Okay, just uh, open in a new tab okay mm, so here i already opened one uh, bucket basically it's called a uh, tech test tech advice so under this bucket i already created one folder so it's basically uh, one folder so here is you see that uh, i have already created one uh, bucket so click on it then you can see i have already created one uh, folder so how can you create the bucket basically uh, let me show you also that things so just uh, go to back and create bucket option then you have to provide your bucket name so this bucket name will be the unique name which one you have to provide and then you have to here yes uh, anything you can give abc okay so now we have to continue okay abc is already taken so let me give um, san okay uh, continue then uh, you can choose either multi uh, region or you can choose like a uh, region basically i have to choose regional basically uh, my database is in region singapore so i have to choose uh, singapore region so singapore here so now continue and uh, then uh, the default storage class is a st uh, standard continue then how to control is a uniform one is a continue okay then is a production tools is a none okay and then create option so uh, and here i just would like to share with you that uh, here you see that uh, per location wise uh, they have a rate basically 0 0.020 uh, gigabyte per month so you have to pay that much this much cost uh, for your data storage in your cloud storage bucket so uh, based on that you can just uh, select so let me come to the my bucket uh, so here my bucket uh, and then inside the bucket uh, i have a folder basically uh, so here it is uh, so why i create basically how can you create also folder just click uh, create folder and then you can just give your name uh, as per your requirement then you can create uh, as per your requirement so i already created here so i don't want to create another one so why i created like this uh, like a date wise uh, because, because in my pipeline is using a date condition so based on that i use this uh, date uh, folder basically so if you think that uh, you want to change your different name folder so you can do uh, as per your requirement so uh, now let me move to the pipeline process so in the ui you have to come back so just close one okay so here is my ui uh, option so here i have written one pipeline which one i gonna provide in the description so you can just write uh, copy and paste and then you can change your uh, other location the export data first part basically first part is export data and exporting from where basically uh, the location of your bucket name and the next part is basically the current date i am using uh, i already created the folder if you don't have any folder inside that bucket you just remove that part so let me show you that which part basically remove uh, so from here to uh, yeah up to here okay uh, okay uh, i think simply invite comma and slash also need to remove uh yes uh, here slash also need to be removed okay yeah now ready you see here it's okay so like this if you don't have any folder so you can just uh, uh export like this and i have a folder so here the format is i'm um, using packet because uh, my other pipeline also using the same uh you can if, if you want to choose some other uh, format so you can choose like csv uh avro uh, it's up to you and oh, okay when i'm gonna use csv so compression snappy is not used so i need to remove this one yep uh okay so now you see so let me just uh, pack with okay and then next basically the override uh if you want to do uh override true or false is up to you uh that either you can just override uh, uh full uh, data or not uh 
and then basically i just select uh, here star uh, from the my location basically uh, and so you can you can choose your uh, data location and the table table name also so based on that you can just uh, use that one so here in the bucket basically so in the in that uh, my folder also here is nothing is blank basically so once i run this one so let me run it basically uh, so then you can see basically it will it will uh, write all the data from bigquery to cloud storage bucket so just running uh, so now you can see it's already exported uh, this much file rows and 13 files basically so it's already exported so you can see in the basically let me check it out in the um, folder uh, it's, uh, it's created or not let me just refresh it uh, either you can go back and then also refresh it will be and, and then um, you can see your data so here it is basically uh, it's refreshing and then you can see yeah here you can see that uh, 13 file already uh, exported to my cloud storage bucket so here you say 13 files and in the folder also itself 13 files so all files are here uh, in the in the same folder so this way basically you can just export uh, your files uh, from table to gcs cloud storage uh, bucket and you can also do the etl process also and uh, then you can store based on your requirement or output based on your uh, requirement output basically so and the next step is basically how can you automate this one so you have to uh, also schedule this process using the schedule so create a new schedule query and then there you can just write the name of the schedule and then either you can do daily hourly weekly uh, or monthly whatever you want or what is your requirement so based on that you can just uh, uh, schedule it and uh, so this is all about that how can you export your data from uh, bigquery to cloud storage so if you guys uh, like this video please write comment and then like this video and share this video and if you have any question or query please write down to me thank you very much for watching this video